Okay, having a look at arithmetic sequences. Now, arithmetic sequences are where we are going up by the same amount each time or going down by the same amount each time. So we're arithmetic, we're adding or subtracting a number each time. Uh, so when we look at it, an arithmetic sequence, we can see a starting value. Now we will sometimes call that A. We will sometimes call it T1, so the first term. Um, we can also see what we call our common difference. So what are we going up in? We're adding four each time. So our difference is equal to four. We can then also talk about the number of terms. So that's what n is equal to. Then we have two ways that we can describe that arithmetic sequence. So we can talk, use what we call the recurrence relation where we're just saying, how do you get to the next value by knowing the um, that current one? So we can either say t of n is equal to, and that's where we will talk about the previous term and what you will do to it. And that's why we write minus one, the one before. So in this one, to get to the next term, we add four to the previous term. You may also see in some textbooks it written as t of n plus one, is t of n plus four, which means getting to the next one, what do you do with the current one? Um, so they're both notations that describe the same thing. We also have a rule where we have t of n is equal to a plus n minus one d. So this is to get any term in the sequence. With a recurrence relation, you're only finding the next one in the sequence. With your general form, you are finding anyone in this, any term in the sequence. So in our case up here, we could get our five, add n minus one times four, and we could get any of the values in the sequence. So we could find out, this, this is t1, t2, t3, t4. We could find out t4 by putting a four here. So we would have four take one, times four. Now four take one is three. Three times four is 12 plus five is 17. Now that is what we had up here as our fourth term. We can also look at the total, the sum of a sequence as well, and it has a rule as well, but I'm gonna leave this video just at this point here. We can also have arithmetic sequences that go down in value. They're just gonna have a negative value for the D there. We can also have them starting in the negatives. We can have decimal um, values. This is just one of the simplest forms that you will see. If you are trying to find, if you get two terms in a sequence and you're trying to find um, the uh, difference or the um, A value, you're solving simultaneously. And I've got a video that you can have a look at on that as well.